Mark now kick from 45 out, so it's going to start by Renan. Uh, Jolly wins that one, goes forward, comes out to McLean, gets onto that left foot that we spoke about in the pre-game, and look at it, again for Redan, and we'll try to pick it up. It's the Ruckman that is rucking with Jolly, that wasn't listed as 35. Yes, it is, it's Brandon Green. That's all right. So we've got that right. Come forward to Grant. Grant, quick hands out. Let's look. 12 minutes gone, first quarter, and the Ballarat Toyota live stream match of the day. Flipped out towards Matty Johnson, he's dived, he gives the ball back to the umpire. Joey tries to flip out behind, but I think he's not doing too bad a job, he's green. And Laney's started off very, very well. We've gone 25 minutes in the first quarter, nine point lead to East Point. Ball comes out the back to Laney. Gets away from his opponent. There he is again. Matty Johnson just sells some candy, buys himself some space, gets the high ball to Luke is a really dangerous area, you know, you're 25 metres out in front of goal. Short wins it with a backhander, comes out to Bond, hurry handball out. So carry the long Johnson smile from here, Brad. I reckon he never had a he jolly just putting it down his mouth every single time, uh, like a baby bird. So he's just a fantastic and a half minutes into this first quarter. There have been six goals, keep 4-4, four, four. it's point, 2-2 two, two, Redan. Jolly again, taps down the front, comes out to Rodham Anus, just bounces oh! around, umpire says no. Lockheed George because the ball could have gone a bit further there and uh, Lockheed would have a bit more of a run under the free and, and then a shot on goal. Green wins that one, it goes straight to his east point opening, he's wrapped up by Bond with another bounce, that was Dodd. Oh, a beautiful tap again from Jolly, this is a, just a master class of ground level, really liked and I know that you, you mentioned him earlier in the call, Jacob Brown, I like the looks of him, it's the first time I've seen him this year. Yeah, no, he's certainly a player that uh, gives his all each week, um, he's probably struggling a bit with George into that sort of in that area to be a bit more of that contested beast and he won't give Matty Johnson the clear footing that he uh, has had that first quarter. Great call. As you know, certainly the East Point Football Club, uh, they are a competitive bunch as well so they won't give it easy. And now East Point just needed a couple of minutes to get a couple more to take the ascendancy back. It's toe poked from that stoppage towards the goal square. Nervously rushed. <coughs> And uh, the East Point Football Club, they've already just worked out. Now we have got no tools to take that uh, that pressure off a uh, uh, smaller type of yeah. Very good work from the East Point side, that's for sure. Being able to secure him. Jacob Brown, his tackle. It's the handle away. The unpop. 21 point lead of the Kangaroos. Short wins that, but it goes straight up the, in the hands of Atari. Uh, in fact, McDougal. Stop the flow of play and get the ball now into their forward attacking areas. That's what's one thing that I've noticed with uh, the East Point Footy Club. They're very good at just not only. Again, there's three or four East Point always getting off the ground there, getting tackling, which is just shows their, uh, their team atmosphere and the team first. Atari, another snap. I found 50 around from the Redan goal. It's getting very dark out here at Eastern Oval as Jolly gets that out with another tap. Atchison's there. He's it's gone third quarter. The three goals scored this quarter too. So the first quarter for 35 minutes too, Brad. So we might have a long quarter this one. As Fitzgibbon goes towards Stevenson, he's held. And the umpire body contact. He loves it, doesn't he? As Jolly again to row two, and this has gone to Matty. Won the contest between the young bull and the old bull. The old bull being uh, oh! Rocky George. And Atchison wrapped up by Whitaker, wants to bounce down out of wind. Goes. ball bounces forward. Ganley, point goes back towards Nesta. So he'll be tackled by Flynn Atchison. By Jake Ganley there, just use his initiative to get in front of his player, quick kick. He was the first one to move, that's why he got the first uh, possession. Johnson went to tackle, goes to Aberdeen, handballs it, Aaron handball. Two, and the way he goes about it, so he's been really impressive today. Oh, beautiful tap <laughs> again. From Jolly to Matt Johnson, how many times have we said it? Because he has a snap at goal, but Flynn Atchison's over to... Petered out in the end, but 70 point leaders.
as we said earlier, it doesn't seem like that to the Kangaroos as it comes out to Carlisle Marks, handball over the top to another stoppage, it's the big man Jolly and Shaw, Jolly just holds that spot, gets that tap forward uh, there's plenty of other players uh, living for that man at the moment, uh, they're doing a good turn one of which is probably Jolly, who might do a lot in the way of Marks kicks handball, but he definitely Boy, I minutes gone. Comes forward towards Johnson again. Big <laughs> Darren Joey loses the first tap. Comes out forward of the ball now. Quick kick forward by Harvey for Redan. Quickly goes in. Grant drops what he back in the middle. Again, comes forward, missed by both Ruckman, Hari, and it's gone. And it'll be Jolly again in the ruck. Is, who is, I don't think he's played much senior footy this year, is Brandon Green. Ends up now coming into the front 50 again to Atavi. All right, so I had a scoreboard. Jolly wins that tap, comes out the back, Lockie McLean paddles in front of him, slides into the ground, and Pye says, I just, uh, I wonder Brad, he kicked 17 goals in his last game, he pumped up for your next week game, okay, okay, wouldn't you? And he's been waiting for you three or four weeks for that to happen, so, uh, East Point 3 2 20, we've gone 18 minutes in the first quarter, that's on your Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Yeah, another one that I like. Good bench in the last jump time. 4-4, four, four, 28 East Point lead, Redan, two straight, 12, gone 28 minutes now into the first quarter, thanks to Ballarat Toyota. Green, a green goes the high ball towards Stevenson. Ah! That's that type of year for us, but uh, no doubt the AFL officials have been under the pump. Certainly don't envy their job as we are underway here in the second quarter. Um, Lockie George and looks like Jacob Brown. Wrestling, yes, and a thumping kick too. So that takes them on to 5, 6, 36, 2, 3, 15, Redan. We've gone now 10 and a half minutes into the second quarter. Come forward, we'll have a 5, 6, 36, East Point, 3, 3, 21. Redan, we've gone 12 and a half minutes into the second quarter. Quick run, mate, by the way, but, uh, and that's the Redan Football Club. They're just uh, a really competitive group of players. Maddie Johnson, quiet her second quarter for him thus far. Rachel Williams drops the home ball, but 4 4 28 Redan. Gone 15 minutes, second quarter on your Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Short, hurried kick forward inside, 50 for the line. It's a hard ass for Redan right Ooh, now. They'll be very, very nervous back line when you see those boys line up against you and the way they're playing. 20 point leaders now. Uh, he's point seven six to four for Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. One by Green comes out to Atchison. Ducks under that handball out to the outside to Matthews. Hurry, kick towards Stevenson who brings it to the cast like that's pretty hard. Back in the centre, Jolly wins that. 9-9-63 East Point. Four. Ah! For the third quarter, that is a lot darker than the first half by the looks of it. We might have the lights on here soon. As Jordy Johnson tries to get it out. Rotuma, Rotuma Onis. Back to Jordy Johnson. Hurry, kick inside. Minute of the third quarter on your Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Comes forward, comes out for Matthews to McLean. McLean with a right foot high kick looking for George. Jolly holds out his opponent. Beautiful tap to Rotomer Onus with a right foot leg inside looking for He's earned his money, the boundary umpire. As back in the middle and again it comes out from Jolly. Kicked off the ground, goes forward towards centre half forward. It's blown out now to 46 points to the Kangaroos. And they want to be very careful the lines. They do go inside 50 again though. Bad bounce, the low. Take to the ground. Get 
Johnson underneath that again as he's done most of the day. Comes out to Green with a hurry kick. It's 5.41 and we've gone 13 minutes third quarter on your Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Uh, to tackle is Rotuma own East Point 13, 10 88, Redan 7, 6, 48, 17 minutes gone, third quarter on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Matty Johnson taps it back. Umpires pull the free kick here against Matthews. Now we've got rain and Lights on and black skies and it's changed dramatically as Taylor get toe pokes it out towards McLean that slides up. Jolly, beautiful tap again to Taylor, but it ends up in the hands of Bond for the Lions. He'll go inside fifth. Goes on with players that can kick goals for them, so a multi-focused uh, forward line, which is an advantage for him. Another beautiful tap to Johnson from the, the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Since looking at team since the Lions last goal. As again, they're going to go forward through Lovick. Gale, you've got Atavi with six, Whitaker with four, and Ganley with four. These are your Hawkins, Cameron, and Rowan. They've been bringing up forward, that's for sure. And that's what worried me in the pre game that we spoke about. How do stop it? Oh, then you had Jake McQueen in there, and yeah. <laughs> Sits it inside the goal square. Beautifully done from Stevenson. It got it forward. And I reckon all on his own just didn't get there. Taps it in front of Aberdeen. Ends up in the hands of McQueen. Right foot snap goal. 50. Well defended by Britt on Otavi. Gets it to ground. But this is where Otavi is very good. Recovery at ground level. And he gets his first for the day. Lions would have lit up when Manny Johnson runs through the middle of the ball in hand, that's for sure. As Atavi, not a problem for him, straight over the hat, the goal umpire, and he has, has McLean on the inside if he wants him. He's inside 50, just goals in front of him. Handballs over the top to the big fella, Stevenson, and goal. Fanta, two in this first quarter, comes in for his third. Probably could have had nearly five. That's a beautiful kick. That is a beautiful kick. He's got his third now. Pressure was Jordy Johnson. Quickly plays on. Goes to centre half forward. Have a look at the kick. Straight to Whitaker in the goal square and just walks in to an open. Well, all their players back in back 50 at the moment. There's only uh, three players forward of the 50 at the moment. And what McLean does is smart. Yeah, quick kick inside. For Redan towards Greg Chester with a check side. Wow! The one for bunch as well, so they won't give it easy and let their lead go. Jordy Johnson, hurry kick forward to that man, Atavi. How many balls does he win like that? And just when you thought we did high kick towards the goal square, jumping for it again. This time Whitaker, and he's got his second. He has McQueen streaming over the back to Zatavi. He gives it to him. Round the corner as easy as you like. And McQueen tomorrow against Coburg. As Zatavi comes in. Have a look at that. Uh, that's his fifth. Went, uh, through this rack work. Ball went back into play. Zatavi takes the rack with short. Comes out the back to that man again, Ganley. This time it's on the right leg. And he's got the opener of the second half early. He's first for the day. With that kick either, as it falls short inside the goal square, but kicked off the ground quickly was Grant, was it? Just too big and too strong against young Pepper. Too easy, that one. So we've had three goals. He goes to him, has all the time in the world, sits that up over Jess's head and straight through the middle. Great bit of play. Great. Just the second time it didn't work for him, but uh, he was sitting by here again. Comes forward now towards Harvey, who has a chance for the check side. What a great goal. He knows where they are, Alex Harvey. Time, that's for certain. He'll do battle again with Green. He gets it out the back to Brown. Right foot, snap. <laughs> I would love to know the hand. 
the first multiple goal kicker for the Lions of the day. And he's got it. Well done. They just were right behind him on this one. So we've got a great view of it. That is a lovely looking kick. Fades right in the end, but not a problem. Again, good punch from behind by Giampolo. But Ganley, who's had a super quarter, has put through his third. Very definite approach. Over the as you say. Great looking style. But no matter how they get there, that's gone straight over the yellow hat of the umpire. And that resulted in a quick turnover and resulted in this shot and goal by Bradby. Just because of the hard work by the midfielders pushing back on the half forward kick inside 50. Whitaker, this is where he's been solid. Turns around right. He's ends up in the hands of Ganley, who runs in for his fourth of the day. He likes it and he's got it. Doesn't want to celebrate. Short, too short. Inside defensive 50 takes a bounce after three steps. And Gene Polo is under the puck now. He's asked to do it, but unfortunately just missed that one. But uh, he's been a dangerous player thus far, and he's, he can go forward and kick goals, and he's dangerous when they, they rest him for a water breath. For East Point. Which would be interesting because uh, and Jack relies on his speed. A, mm. a player from the Ararat Football Club has come down to try the Ballarat Football League and he's had his haircut done for today. You know, the televised game Brad looks like. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's been a couple of weeks ago out at City Oval. He kicked the first goal in the reserves and then kicked the winning goal, the last kick of the game that got him over the line on a, a very oh wet afternoon as Rotuma Onis kicks that out on the full. Just the wind got that the last minute there and uh, it was a good thought of a kick but just uh, overcooked a bit and uh, now yeah, football. Uh, we've had a couple of Yeah, certainly don't want jump time goals now. They've been good with in the first quarter. They are, they are kicking with the wind. Jolly drops that mark. He's just giving his forwards the best opportunity on the ground. Uh, he's not going to have a chance to mark. We might get a few goals from Daniel Logan today. Comes out to Aberdeen, wins the crumb from a Brandon Green punch. And they come, it'll be Waterbury, the whole flat, long kick inside. It comes back into play now, they'll go up the middle of the ground. Further out now towards the window. So they should be quite a bit further out at the moment. Yeah, I think Redan have been very good on especially when I seen that Cooper Craig Peters was playing for Footscray this weekend and he wouldn't play. I thought, gee, they're gonna lose a lot. You see that there with the contest to pull the player down and uh, create a bit of a loose ball where Dean just missed a, a get him a shot. Played the premiership with point on them to believe. Tardy. Feel that uh, base players went up to Darwin and the Midfielders as well through his uh, record. What a luxury they have. At this point, at one stage earlier in the year, was struggling to find a ruckman. Now they have Atavi and Terran Jolly and go, go, go. Jenkins short to Christian Polo. Hands back to Jenkins. He'll kick to the outer wing. Up the line, five of those. So, uh, what about day out? He'd be happy with that, uh, that payout. Board, uh, in fact, it's Jenkins who bring the ball back into play up the line, punch from behind by Jolly. They had a line screen match of the day. Up towards Whitaker here. Waterbury spoils him. If they bring the ball back into play, Jenkins on that outer side that is very, very dark. Chris Carson. Carson will come up to the Commentary box side of the ground, high ball, Tarvey's at the back. Yeah, I think Big O might have got them a bit low across the leg area. Um, certainly on one of the players anyway. It is Van Miel and Dallenberg that will come from the ground for East Point as the ball back into play. Their last game in round 10, they won by 84 points over Melton South and I watched that game yesterday. Take, and they looked every yes. bit of 84 point better side, but they certainly don't look the 52 bit point better side than my Dan. Totally agree. Yeah. His body behind the footy a bit more then, just uh, 
yeah, protecting the footy, he might have got through for a goal. Back into play for the Kangaroos, up towards and behind, and he's quickly reared, he brings that ball back into play. He was looking for Fitzgibbon, but coming over the top was Geordie Johnson, who was just able to spoil that out over the boundary line. Good vision by Geordie there. I actually thought he might have tried to take the mark. That's what he usually tries with those better extracts that, that, that can do things that other guys can't. The Eastern Oval in the Ballarat Toyota McDonald's Ballarat Football Netball League live stream match of the day. Goes the outside. Good kick. As he played really well. Had to kick goals. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you would have been really, really competitive. I don't know if there's too many other clubs that would be able to stop the forward this point right now, the way they've set up. It's half time, and it's been constant, not heavy, constant. Go, Tommy! Comes in, short, punches that away from Gamley towards the boundary line. Christian Pola keeps it in, with the handball and the he can, but uh, I think come, come final, they will be back pretty quickly. Yeah, and I think McDougal becomes a more of a target then too, doesn't he? Right now, McDougal's probably picking up the fourth defender. At both semi clearances already, so he's a really important player that the Red Ant Footy Club's got to try and stop. He's a really sticky player. Now, one of my favourites, the Henderson Medal. He's brought the footy and, and got it back into the forward line, so uh, yeah, those sort of kicks down the line, I believe. Nice little touch from Jolly looking for Johnson, but it comes on. Got a big job today. As tap forward by that man, Tarvey. Comes forward towards McDougal, Johnson's here, comes out. I can't see me jumping at the ball when the ruck or centre bounces, but I just think that physical uh, presence of both those players will, players will be a really good contest for the day. Definitely a hard body to get around, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's a big boy, no doubt about that. Smart player, you know, will not fully down and mark the football and give his forwards a big better opportunity, but also do the ruck work down the full line. And he does it with Van Meel, and then makes some space, and... Rotoma Onus is on the bottom of that. It finally flicks out. Hurry kick from Geordie Johnson along the wing. Now, a few of these questions out here today. Were you there in 91, the Premiership year? Yeah, I was, yeah. I was, uh, I was down that way at 91. Wasn't in the Premiership team, though. No. Just uh, one of those young fellows running around in the twos, experiencing the veteran general down there. They hit up forward, and he's been had a really good year for the East Point Footy Club. Of course, there he goes today. Yeah, the co-captain. You know, the under-16s, under-17s, and, and pre-season squads, and uh, he's just a, a really good character. He's a school teacher and a really good leader around the footy club. Jolly hits it to the back, but Chris Giampolo wings it for Redan. Find we must be in the wrong angle here, Brad. Mm, I thought that was well over it anyway. Yeah, I thought so. Give me the actual grounds there. Mark that football. Yeah. 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 Keep moving on. Jolly hands out towards Matt Johnson. Whether he just allowed the wind to maybe take the footy a bit too much from him so he can through the footy. Green wins that with a big fist forward. Well done. Hands out the back towards Grant. Dale and Bird flashes black, but does everything well like every single day. Jolly holds the front spot, so we'll win that. Very hard to get around. Bond, toe pokes that off the ground. Oh, beautiful hands out over the top there for the ground. And uh, yeah, Flynn's that uh, uncanny forward line player that's got good endurance, but can also go to that ground back, give it the X Factor about himself. Matty Johnson in position, yep. Yep. out of side of the ground. Okay. Green. And the big man, Jolly, double-handed tap, beautiful to Johnson. Might have tried to win a free kick there. And then, we'll be telling you where to go, no doubt. This thing's a fantastic pick-up by the East Point Football Club to get a play like a Don and Jolly. That's always something to offer experience and uh, really teach the young players a really good advantage, and that's what we're seeing at the moment. Canny was on the end of that last one. Who's going to be on the end of this one? Actually, it's Redan that are starting probably to think, I'll oh, just go where his hands are jolly here at the moment. The bound jump always throwing it fairly low and uh, the ball's holding up a little bit so the big green gets in front. He might have more opportunity for his team opportunities. That was a 20 metre punch to McDougal from Jolly. Now they're up towards the goal mouth. This Even now he's got four or five kicked against him throughout the day or something like that. He was dead, keep fighting for the team. Yeah, he's giving away a lot of height and the ball's coming in brilliantly, so he's been carries. It's a nice month. Yeah, there's plenty of months out there today, isn't there? I think the isolation uh, has been kind and your hairdressers haven't been over for the last two weeks. <laughs> As Matty Johnson, it's 
flipped out now. Matthews is in there as his fits of Jolly and the Rut. And we'll see what happens here, but by the same token, Green's been pretty good. Look at that. That is just incredible. And he's found Johnson again, Jolly, with a beautiful tap, but the kick wasn't great. And Redan will mop out. And they'll come in. Unlucky that free kick down that forward line there. I thought uh, there may be an in back in the back sort of decision there, but the umpire let it go. Quick hands out from Aberdeen. Looking for Harvey, finds him. Oh, he get his arms free. Out with throwing, left half forward for the East Point side. That's Green and Jolly. Jolly out of the back was looking for Ganley. Had it smothered. Johnson ends up with it. He fumbles. Comes out to Nesta. Gets away from McLean. McLean hangs on, but he's able to shrug it in the end. But will these guys slow down as the day goes on? Phil with 21 days off and a break earlier in the year as McDougal gets a hurry kick in. A few more touches, a bit more confidence in their skills. Up here. Boundary throwing will be McDougal doing the ruck work with Short. Comes out to Jenkins. Hurry left foot high towards the boundary. Goes out under pressure. I don't know where else but the boundary. Boy says throw it in. McQueen just overruns it. Jess is there, flicks it out. Matthews, tackled by Kenny again. Long, where he's got a Brad Whittaker. That's sort of time, even McQueen down forward there. Jolly, double taps that out the back. Angle from McDougal, looking for Johnson, but didn't get there. McDougal goes a lot to call him gut runners in the AFL history of Nick Revolt. And I'm not saying Brad's a Nick Revolt, but certainly he's got that trait of uh, just that red line and just doing his things well all the time. Went uh, through this rack work. Ball went back into play. Tarby takes the rack with short. Comes out the back to that man again, Ganley. This time it's on the right leg, and he's got the opener of the second half early. He's first for the day. Rotation will start off there with an injury. Not quite sure. He's on the bench with Josh, Josh Carlisle Marks. And, and young Joe Dodd looks like he's got the tracksuit top on injured. McDougal, hurry right foot leg. Oh, there he is again. A tough players. Look at the heavy legs at the moment. I just hope that uh, doesn't uh, continue because it could be a big blowout if that's the case. Johnson. That's Matty. Oh, he's dived on that. But good enough to feed it out. Dallin Bird been busy early in this third quarter. Gets his right foot kick. James, what we've got here today, you can see a cloud for miles. Beautiful, and now it's as black as black as Harvey wins it to McLean. His tackle comes out the back, had prior, but able to get the leg to it. Just the second time, it didn't work for him, but uh, he was sitting by here again. Comes forward now towards Harvey, who has a chance for the check side. What a great goal! He knows where they are, Alex Harvey. About 50 around from the East Point goal. As Jolly taps it out the back to you, they've got a good understanding. And they've done it in quick time, these two, to Johnson. Time, that's for certain. He'll do battle again with Green. He gets it out the back to Brown. Right foot, snap! <laughs> We'd love to know the hand. Not overly heavy, but maybe enough uh, for the players to be uh, double touching the footy a fair bit. Just like slow, isn't it? At the moment, as Green wins that tap. Oh, beautiful hands out. Now they are away again, these best point game. A goal, and let's remember too, they really are outside. Oh, ho, ho. he's done it again, Joey, to Rotuma owners. Ends up to Fitzgibbon, though. Hands out to McQueen. Off for a well-earned rest, but it's going to be interesting if Green cannot play for the rest of the game. What are the Redan Footy Club going to do in terms of ruck? Got to be Jack. Stop the impact of Jolly and the way he rucks. Great yeah. call. Yeah. It's hard to get it out the back to hell. Just slow. It looks like it's just a bit very light drizzle now. Matty Johnson. Handballs to the outside to Atavi. Goes back in. Ganley, which he had to, losing green. Takes the front spot, Matavi gets it to Rotoma Owners, feeds it out to Johnson, just about best on ground. He'll feed it back again. Comes back to the architecture is the thing that's got me Phil. I put him up in photographs, it's still for another day. As George is wrapped up by Brown. Every time George has got the ball, Jacob Brown has been there blanketing him. He's been super as Harvey is luck work there. 
uh, especially with uh, you know green going off the ground, not returning, and uh, short. He's short of six. Ballarat sit back and get the bye, but there's no four points now for the bye because of the interrupted season. So Redan sitting sixth. Uh, can actually afford to lose because the side behind them with the bye don't get the four points and go above them. The Carmody, um, probably not marking anyone's homework, but watching the footy and getting a bit of, bit of homework on the Redan Footy Club for next year, next week. What a lovely guy he is too, Joe Carmody. As Waterbury gets a right foot check zone pass to Atchison, smart kick. Atchison. No, I don't follow anyone anyway, really. I, I follow the, the players that have gone through. I have probably got a bit of a soft spot for the Melbourne Footy Club, but. I'm not quite sure about the team is at the moment. I think they're just a bit of a tenders for the finals. Bond, handball. Two premierships in a row going for their third this year after the COVID break last year. And they've made a, a late run and looked really good the last month or so as George wins the handball to McQueen. Gets McLean. Um, getting first use of the footy and giving options to uh, everyone that's coming by and that's been a great asset to them. 63 point lead to the Kangaroos. Tinsley hasn't dropped from the first quarter, which shows a sign of two good teams, I believe, and they've kept it up. And yeah, certainly from the first quarter to now, the game hasn't stopped, and uh, that's a great goal if it gets in. Brits held off a lot more than probably Simon, to be honest. So even though Avadi kicked semi, he's had a good day. Comes out now to Dodd. I haven't seen a lot of him, I know he spent some time on the interchange, gets a snap at goal, but what are the guys can't do, but good team play. Not playing for Geelong today, with Geelong having the buy in the VFL, so Jordy Johnson here for East Point, as Retinale just slips over as he kicks. Yeah, now the game's well and truly out of the band's uh, hands, they will probably uh, you know, try and consolidate and try and hold off any more score. Jim Polo, it's Chris wins that. From the boundary throwing, kicks it up the line, and to the owners is there, he can't keep it in. Lukic is there, taps it. Uh, guys that have been playing in the all year and a bit of last year, getting opportunities to play senior footy and then. Yeah, it's fantastic to see that the clubs. Um, yeah, it's a good boy from the coaches. Jolly taps it forward, Jones is there, toe poked off by Matty Johnson. Jess is there for the Lions. But it goes the down and really struggling to try and get it out of that 50. Again, it's jolly, but he's tapped it to his opposing Rackman in short, who ends up tapping it out towards me. 22 and a half minutes into this last quarter. Jolly tried to get that one out over the back, but it was probably a shallow throw in. He's won it back though with hands to Rotomer Onus. Gives it off to me clean for the Lions though. Harry kick forward up towards the in, in the Attack that hit, tap, hit zone with speed, and I think a lot of times they've got through the contest with the leg speed just purely for the fact that Johnny's hit that spot. They've got to stop the uh, East Point forward line. Um, it's going to be very hard and very difficult. And again, Johnny. The booty kids on the size that can get a spare one like a Brian McGill. And the other surprise for me is that Darren Jolly is playing this game out. 28 minutes.